Lost in the Dark Woods, The Unholy Curse Story 1, The Lost Hiker It was a crisp autumn day when Emily decided to go on a hike in the dark woods. She had always been drawn to the forest, with its twisted trees and eerie silence. As she set out on the trail, she felt a sense of excitement and adventure wash over her. Hours passed as Emily walked deeper into the woods, the trail becoming harder to follow. She stopped to rest, and that's when she noticed the strange markings on the trees. They looked like claw marks, deep and jagged, and they seemed to be leading her deeper into the forest. As Emily followed the marks, the woods became darker and more sinister. She could feel eyes watching her from the shadows and she heard strange whispers on the wind. Suddenly, she realized she was lost. Panic set in as Emily tried to retrace her steps, but the marks on the trees seemed to have vanished. She wandered aimlessly for what felt like hours, her fear growing with every passing minute. Just when she thought all was lost, she stumbled upon a clearing. At the center of the clearing was a small cabin, Old and dilapidated, Emily approached cautiously, her heart pounding in her chest. As she pushed open the door, she saw something that made her blood run cold. The cabin was filled with human bones, arranged in a macabre display. In the center of the room was a hooded figure, who turned to face her with empty eye sockets. Emily screamed and ran out of the cabin, never looking back. To this day, no one knows what happened to Emily. Some say she was taken by the hooded figure, while others believe she is still wandering the dark woods, lost and alone. Story 2, The Haunted Campsite Every summer, the Miller family would set up camp in the dark woods. It was their little piece of paradise a place where they could escape the hustle and bustle of city life and reconnect with nature. But one summer, things took a dark turn. Strange things started happening around the campsite. The family would wake up in the middle of the night to find their tent flaps open. Even though they had securely fastened them, they heard strange noises coming from the woods, like footsteps and whispers. And worst of all, they saw shadows moving around their campfire, even when no one was there. At first, they tried to brush it off as their imaginations, but as the nights went on, the activity only increased. The family began to feel like they were being watched, and they could sense a malevolent presence in the woods. One night, as they sat around the campfire, they saw a figure emerge from the darkness. It was a tall, gaunt man with wild eyes, dressed in ragged clothes. The family huddled together in fear, but the man simply walked past them and disappeared into the woods. After that night, the family packed up their campsite and never returned to the dark woods. But to this day, they can't shake the feeling that they were being watched by something evil. Story 3 the curse of the dark woods. For generations, the villagers who lived near the dark woods had told stories of a curse that haunted the forest. They said that anyone who entered the woods would never return, and that the trees themselves held a malevolent power. One summer, a group of teenagers decided to test the curse for themselves. They snuck into the woods at night, armed with flashlights and bravado. They laughed and joked as they made their way deeper into the forest, completely unaware of the danger they were in. As they walked, they noticed that the trees seemed to be closing in on them, like they were being pulled towards the heart of the forest. The teenagers tried to turn back, but the way they had come was now shrouded in darkness. As they stumbled through the woods, they heard strange whispers and saw ghostly figures darting among the trees. The forest seemed to be alive with an evil energy, and the teenagers realized too late that they had made a grave mistake. One by one, 
they began to disappear. Some were snatched away by unseen hands, while others simply vanished into the shadows. The remaining teenagers tried to stick together, but they could feel their courage and strength ebbing away. Finally, they stumbled upon a clearing in the woods. In the center of the clearing was a circle of stones, ancient and weathered. As they drew closer, they saw that the stones were inscribed with strange symbols, glowing faintly in the moonlight. Suddenly, the stones began to pulse with a dark energy, and the teenagers were engulfed in a blinding light. When they emerged, they were changed. They were no longer human, but something else entirely twisted and deformed creatures, cursed to wander the dark woods forever. The villagers never saw the teenagers again, but they could hear their cries echoing through the forest at night. And from that day on, no one dared to enter the dark woods, for fear of what lurked within. The curse of the forest had claimed its latest victims, and it would continue to claim more for generations to come.